I'm going to show you how to enter Risk of Bias 2 data in Rev and Web. And it's actually going to be a screencast that you can access after this session. So that means that you can actually peek back at it um, when you're at the point where you're transferring your judgments from um, the Excel tool to Repman Web. And so Dario, can you please move on to the next slide and start the recording? How you can enter risk of bias judgments and support for judgments in Repman Web that you have completed in the risk of bias to Excel tool. So as you can see, I'm now in Redman Web. To the right, I have the Excel tool prepared. And what you then need to do is you need to, in Redman Web, go to the analysis. And you're going to find the analysis where you want to add the risk of bias to, because it's results based. We want to actually add the risk of bias within the analysis. So you go to edit the analysis. And then um, for every analysis where you wish to include the risk of bias table, you need to go to the options and show the risk of bias table. And the reason we have this is because you might have sensitivity analysis where there's overlapping data. So you actually don't want to include the risk of bias table for that analysis. And so then we'll move back to the data tab. So you can see result, results have already been entered. Um, and let's start by entering risk of bias for the first result. So you go to the action here and then you click add risk of bias. And then you get to this page where you can enter the results from the Excel tool. So what you're going to do is you'll find um, the corresponding study, so Amore Kofia, in the Excel tool. And then you'll find the first domain. So we have domain one here, randomization process. And then um, you have the judgments here, some concern. And then you have also the general note, which will be the support for judgment. So you copy that and you go to Redman and then you say, uh, is some concerns and then you copy and paste it and then you can find uh, the next domain uh, and copy that content over to Revman. And so I'm going to just add some placeholder data for the sake of this demo. And and then we can see how this will look like as we include it in the forest plot. Um, so I'm just going to enter placeholder data and then uh, we go back to the analysis. And then when you go through the graphs, the uh, default will be to not, um, not show the risk of bias summary. So that's also something where you um, should tick this box uh, to make sure that um, the risk of bias is shown in the forest plot, which is the uh, suggested methodology for risk of bias too. Um, and so as you can see here, now you have all the risk of bias. So we added the first row here, uh, and uh, already there was risk of bias for the other studies added. But you can see that there is one exclamation mark here that looks a bit odd. And this indicates that there's actually no data added. So Revman will actually tell you if you've missed to enter some data and the validation report will throw an error. So you won't be able to submit your review before you've entered all the judgments and support for judgments that you need. So let's go and fix that. I'm just going to go to the data tab, find that. Uh, study, edit the risk of bias, and then yes, very well I can see here that um, there was no judgment, and that's the reason. And then we can go back and see in the graph that yes, it's now amended, um, and uh, basically the risk of bias 
for this uh, analysis should be complete. Um, so the next step is to have a look in the view of the review and, and look at how the risk of bias table looks like. So after you've made any um, major changes in RefMan, it may be good to um, tag a version of the review because this means that at a later stage you can compare with this, this version um, you can also revert to it um, and so on. So that's always useful. So um, I'm going to tag and say entered uh, risk of bias. And then I'm tagging the version. And then I can select that version and view it. And so when the view is generated here, I can go down to the risk of bias section and you'll see all um, the judgments and the risk of bias uh, and the supports for judgments. Uh, so here we are. This is the risk of bias section that includes the risk of bias summary table and you can see here um, all um, the judgments and the support for judgments um, for this analysis. That's it from me. Thank you for listening. This slide is basically about saying that Redmond Web continues to evolve um, and we've already have, had some input on risk of bias and using risk of bias in Redmond Web and we've made uh, quite a few uh, improvements and the most recent ones have been about um, validation of missing risk of bias data. So when you've forgotten to add it, for example, that I showed in the video um, and also enabling you to select which analysis to include result level tables for, as well as including risk of bias analysis um, uh, in the forest plot. And this is actually available for both uh, risk of bias one and risk of bias two. And uh, just a note uh, to let you know that if there's anything while we're using Redman Web that you uh, would like to improve, you can uh, go open the help menu and send in a suggestion. So that should be really easy for you. And then we'll take that into account in our development process of Redman Web. And uh, also to note that we have uh, a reoccurring requests after people have been using uh, Redmond Web together with Risk of Bias 2, and that's of course to make the transfer of the judgments um, from the Excel tool to Redmond Web more easy. Um, and uh, at the moment, there is no uh, plan to do that um, to to uh, enable an integration, um, and that's because we're waiting on more information about the online tool that's going to hopefully replace the Excel, to Excel tool at some point. Um, but if you have any uh, suggestions, uh, do uh, make sure that you send them forward because we're happy to um, to improve Refman Web to basically help you do your work in the review. Okay, so I think that was my last slide, Dario, and. How are we on time? I'm not sure if we want to move on or have questions. Thanks, Rebecca. That was great. I think we've got a couple of questions that are quite specific to Redman Web, so um, sure. we'll cover them quickly. Um, a few of them relate to what you've just mentioned about um, transferring judgments more easily to Redman Web. Um, Irene has asked, so has asked, do the judgments need to be copied one by one? Um, and Jill and Jess have asked about um, plans for automating the input from the Excel file into Revman Web, um, and this this idea of fully automating or integrating the Rob to tool with Revman Web. Yes, thanks, Ella. So um, uh, we we're definitely aware that we want to make that process easier. When I said there's no plan, I, I meant that there's no plan for this quarter. Um, and uh, basically, we will keep you posted 
um, as we progress um, with how we can make that process better. Um, but we are um, definitely waiting for more um, news around uh, the development of the online tool. Uh, in terms of uh, copying over all judgments, that is the case at the moment, that you need, do need to do that. However, if you're, for example, doing um, a sensitivity analysis and are using the same data um, in different analysis, we, um, we have um, guidance that basically tells you to, when you've entered the core analysis, you can duplicate that analysis in RevMan. And that will also duplicate the risk of bias um, judgments. And then you can remove the, um, the studies that doesn't, um, aren't relevant for that sensitivity analysis. Brilliant. And then just one final quick question that's RevMan Web specific. Mm -hmm. um, Sonia asks, is RevMan Web going to eventually make the old RevMan obsolete? Uh, that's a really good question. And yes, it is. And that is a goal that we are working towards. Of course, that means that um, Revman Web needs to support all our users um, in, in everything or most of what Revman 5 does. And so that's basically what we're working on now. So if you have any suggestions on how, um, on any improvements that you need to work efficiently in Revman Web, please forward them to us.